What's up, everybody? It's another episode of College Lit. I'm Joe. I'm Dalton. Today, we're going to bring you a little bit informational on studying. The do's and don'ts, you know? The who, what, when, where, why, and how. So let's get into it. What you got it. You got to work what you got. It's supposed to be in class, but I ain't going unless you're on the couch. study with each other. If you don't believe us, here's Go ahead, Nina. <laughs> um, I guess just because we both understand it, so it makes it easier to kind of work off each other. Yeah, uh, it helps us both do better in the class. So what do you value in a study partner? Um, that they work just as hard as I do. Yeah. Comprehension of the topic. Yeah. Bad study partner is someone that mooches off you and doesn't do the same work that you're really good at. And I feel like Nina does. So she's she good does do that exactly. <laughs> no, Nina puts in the same amount of work that I'm willing to put in. Therefore, Nina is a good study partner. All right, awesome. Much recommendation. So recommendation if you need a study partner, call Nina. <laughs> nice. What? Do you not know what to study? Like, what? What should be the easiest question out of all? Like, if someone asks you, "Are you a boy or a girl?" You should say, I know what to study. You got a test? Study. Got a quiz? Study. Homework? Study. Homework is studying. Practice? Study. All synonyms? Study. Read? Study. Work? Study. Study. Estudiante. When? Now, some people, actually I don't know anyone in the history of ever to study in the morning. Um, so, maybe that's not a good idea, I haven't really tested that. What most people do is uh, stay up all night and study to like 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I don't really understand that. I feel like if you're staying up to 1, you're doing something a little inefficient. But hey, if that works for you, um, do it. But basically, just test out times. I mean, you can't just take what other people tell you for fact. Test it out yourself. Wake up at one o'clock in the morning, study. Study till one o'clock in the morning, see if it works. Donde? So out of all the places to study, outside is probably the least popular. Um, if it's not the middle of winter like it is right now, uh, being outside in the middle of spring, you get some books, you get a little hammock, it's beautiful. There's nothing better than actually being outside. And studying outside, you gotta play with the wind, that, that'll always mess up your books. And uh, you gotta have other people doing crazy stuff like Dalton is doing behind the camera. Um, pros of studying in your dorm, you know what I'm saying? It's your dorm, you don't have to go anywhere. It's right there, all your books and everything are there. Uh, now cons, it is your dorm. The pros of studying in your dorm, it's your dorm. You know, it's comfy, you know, it's where you live, you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, now the cons, uh, you know, it is your dorm. So you have your bed there, it's comfy, you wanna fall asleep, you have food there, uh, you know, maybe you wanna eat. Whole bunch of stuff to procrastinate you. So by far, the best place to study is probably your library. Uh, the library here always stays packed to the brim at all times with people hitting the books hard. Um, I'm not really sure why it's the library is the most popular place. Uh, usually it's filled with books and from what I know most people don't read books. Um, but it's got places you can plug up your computer, little tables where you can study. Um, and really just a lot of people go hard in the paint here. Why? So the one question most people have been wondering is why do we even study? And uh, that is actually a question. The answer everyone will tell you is uh, because you want to get a degree, graduate, and get a job. Um, now, for most people, that's a pretty good answer, answer a pretty good incentive to study. Uh, the way I look at it is if your subject isn't something you're interested in or isn't going to help you get a degree, um, I don't really, I mean, what's the point in it, right? Um, but if it's, if it's going to get you a degree, definitely study. Or if you're passionate about it and generally you're interested, it's a good cause to study. So why should you study? I don't know. Answer that question yourself. How? You're wondering how to study. Uh, most people have different ways. You know, some people have the cramming, uh, the cramming method where you push it all in in one night. You know, stay up till 2 a.m. studying for a test or something like that. Uh, but other people like to draw it out. You know, they like to study two times, three times a week, maybe even every night, just a little bit every night. Uh, what I like to do personally is cram. 
uh, it's not really that effective because you know you're cramming everything in one night. So uh, what I've recently started doing though is uh, you know studying a little bit every night, and I have seen an improvement in my uh, my test scores and my ability to uh, you know remember stuff. So uh, basically, you know whatever you find most effective for yourself, that's how you need to study. Yo yo yo, you made it to the end of the episode. This has been College Lit. I'm Joe. Oh, I'm Dalton. And we'll see you on the weekend. Cause girl,